Hello, everyone, and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today, we're looking into Gemini's inside of their mind reading for this upcoming month. In this message, Gemini, we will tap into the energy surrounding you and your person to see what's challenging this. Then we will dive deeper into the mind of both you and your person. I'll clarify throughout the message. I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice moving forward. There will also be an extended version to the end of this reading. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here and see what we can see for Gemini. Most important message here for my Gemini friend's spirit. What do my Gemini friends need to see? I definitely feel like there's a separation here between you and this person, as if you're closed off emotionally, okay? There is an energy of maybe open to being friends, but that's about it. There's definitely, with the Three of Swords, energy, an energy of betrayal, an energy of loss, okay? Destruction. I feel like something transpired between you and this person. Some information came out. That really caused you to change your perspective on this connection, okay? I do feel like there is an energy of feeling unfulfilled, okay? So like all your needs aren't being met here, Gemini. I feel like your person wants to work together, wants to come together. I feel like this person is open to helping you with business, maybe financially as well with the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. But I feel here an energy of them withdrawn emotionally as well, um, holding back emotionally, ignoring any advances, okay? I also feel like this is symbolic of this connection being completely physical to them. We're going to dive deeper here into the energy here in a minute, Gemini, but the challenge is the sun, the ace of cups, and the emperor. So whenever there is a card in the position of the challenge, it's the negative aspect of the card to me. That's how I read it. So what I get from this, Gemini, is feeling unfulfilled, somebody trying to exude control over the situation. It's come to a point where there's no longer any happiness. And I feel here this is causing blockages not only in relationships, but also other areas, not only for you, but for this person as well. Now let's clarify this before we dig a little bit deeper. We're going to start here with the Queen of, the King of Swords, which is your energy, Gemini. We also have water energy, earth energy. Specifically, we have Aries and Leo with the sun and the emperor. Please clarify this king of swords, the three of swords, the page of cups. I feel like you have your wall up. You are guarded to anything advancing in this connection. At one point, I feel like there was a lot of love and a lot of happiness here. But again, Gemini, I feel like your perspective has changed on all that. Let's clarify this Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Four of Cups for Gemini's energy, Gemini's person's energy, sorry. This person is not changing. I also feel like they're trying to figure out why, why you're distant. Maybe you just block them. You just stop talking. 
but I feel like there's an energy of whatever transpired in the past between you and this person, they wish that they had handled the situation differently. Whatever that means, however that's resonating. Gemini, the connection between you and this person is becoming too heavy, too daunting, and What I feel here, Gemini, is we're going to dive deeper into both of your guys' minds, but your perspective has changed to where I don't feel like you're open to a future with this person any longer. Now, maybe that will change moving forward, but in this energy, I definitely feel like you're closed off to beginning anything new. So let's dive a little bit deeper into your guys' minds. Let's see how you guys are perceiving each other, the challenge, the connection. If you find the message is helpful, resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth and getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. Gemini's person's perception of Gemini in this energy spirit, please and thank you. What do my Gemini friends need to see? I feel like this person is viewing you as happier since you've moved on. This could be why they haven't reached out, Gemini. If you are wondering why they haven't tried to connect with you, they haven't tried to reach out. This person is viewing you as moved on, as finding your happy place. I feel like this person does watch you for sure, okay? Have the strength card on the bottom of the deck. So here, this is their perception of you, Gemini, of accepting, accepting this and moving forward. Gemini, let's look at your perception of this person, shall we, in this energy, please and thank you. Gemini's perception of this person. What do my Gemini friends need to see? Four of Pentacles. King of Rods in the reverse. I feel like you perceive this person as trying to have control over the situation. Manipulative. Because I feel like at one moment they're holding back. And the next they're trying to move forward. Trying to come in. Trying to have something solid with you. Start a solid foundation. But ultimately Gemini... This person is withholding their energy and you're looking at it exactly as such. I feel like you're looking at this very practically, very practically in the sense and a lot of you, there is third party energy coming through here. There's a lot of secrets that are hidden, even if there is a deep connection here. Okay. Three of cups in the reverse, the moon, two of cups, king of cups. So let's look at your person's perception of the challenge, shall we? For Gemini in this energy, please and thank you, Spirit. What is Gemini's person's perception of the challenge here? A lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty. I feel like this person is very confused if this has ended or if you're withholding your energy until you guys reconcile. A little bit of uncertainty. I feel like you guys haven't expressed, you guys haven't talked since you've disconnected is the energy that, that I'm feeling here. You guys are not talking. Okay. There is some confusion on what this is, where you guys stand with one another. 
maybe there's a need to gain closure. Gemini, if you don't feel like there's a chance here, like you're not open to re reconnecting or reconciling with this person, maybe it's time to let them go. What I feel here, Gemini, and what I can see, this person is open to having a new beginning with you. There's a little bit of confusion behind that, but ultimately I feel like they would be open. For you, I feel like you would be open to a new beginning, but you're having a hard time forgiving this pain, this hurt, this heartache. Whatever transpired between you and this person that caused this distance, it was definitely something that caused you to reevaluate this connection. I really feel like there is a need here for closure, Gemini. We're going to dive deeper in and we're going to see the advice moving forward. Let's look at your perspective of the challenge here in this energy, please. And thank you. What is Gemini's, per Gemini's perspective here of the challenge in this energy spirit? Even though there was something here that was difficult, some information that was difficult to hear, I feel, Gemini, this truth, this clarity set you free. Understand that sometimes rejection is God's protection. This Five of Cups tells me that there is a lot of sadness here. Okay, you are sad that you had to disconnect from this person, but on the same token, it's almost as if you, you dodged, you dodged a challenge, you dodged a bullet here. Focusing on your own stability in this present energy is going to be important, but I feel like there is going to be a conversation between you and this person, Gemini, and this can go one of two ways, Okay can stay in this energy and hold on to this grudge hold on to this resentment or you can get closure when this person comes back around you don't have to reconcile okay there's been too much water under this bridge this was the final nail in the coffin by all means stand your ground set that boundary with this person but there's still a need for closure so what does that mean getting this sadness this painful energy off of your chest and telling this person how it made you feel when they had put you in whatever position they had put you in. There's a reason here, Gemini, why you walked away, why you walked away from this, why you distanced yourself. Trust that. So let's see anything that's hidden, anything that this person may be hiding here in this energy, please and thank you. For Gemini and this person, Spirit, anything that's hidden that this person is hiding that Gemini needs to be made aware of. Gemini, if this was a third-party situation, I feel like they that ended. This whole situation blew up in this person's face, from what I can see here. And now, it's like they want a second chance. They want you to come back in. They want to put these, put this down to rest. Anything Gemini is hiding here, spirit, please and thank you. What I feel you're hiding, Gemini, is the love you have for this person. 
the devil energy in the reverse. I feel like there was a little bit of codependency that you were kind of dealing with here when it came to this connection. And I honestly feel because it's in the reverse, Gemini, this is something that you have become aware of or are becoming aware of. This codependent energy can cause challenges in connections moving forward, whether it be this one or any other connection. So just be mindful of that energy. I do still feel here, Gemini, that you are mourning this loss with this person. The Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. There's still a lot of sadness. There's still some intense emotions that you have here. So this person's true intentions here moving forward with Gemini spirit please and thank you it's the full energy thank you guys again for all the love and support if you find the messages helpful resonating with your situation please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is appreciated it does help with the growth and getting the message out so thank you guys so much for that you guys are all amazing I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended version, we're going to dive deeper into the hidden energies, the other influences. We'll look at where this is all headed, the lesson that's present, and the outcome if the advice is followed. It's all going down in the extended version, and the links are all below. Gemini, I feel like this person wants a new beginning. It's like they, cho they chose you, the Fool, the Four of Wands, the Knight of Wands in the reverse with the Empress on the bottom. This person is choosing you. Now, is the energy reciprocated? I don't really feel like it is, to be quite honest with you. But I feel here, Gemini, that this person is open to reconciling and they do see a future here with you. Okay, so your true intentions moving forward here. You're being very cautious when it comes to this person. I feel like you're very focused on yourself. You want to know the truth. You want clarity. So whatever that means, okay, whatever that means to you, Gemini, you are open for communicating with this person, but you want the truth, right? You want to know exactly what, why, how, how long, okay? Is this person open? To expressing the truth here. So Gemini, let's see where this is all headed in this energy, please and thank you. I definitely feel like you're walking away from this person at least in this energy. I feel like you're focused on healing. You're focused on your own stability, your own happiness. I don't feel like this person is changing. Okay, they're not changing the toxic behavior pattern, but they're not walking away either. So this person is going to be open for reconciling for a while is the energy that I feel here, Gemini. But take some time with yourself first. And if you don't feel this connection, by all means, don't do it. So advice, guidance moving forward here for Gemini Spirit. Please and thank you. The Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Moving forward. I feel like you're focusing on goals, focusing on the practical things, okay? Focusing on the things that make you feel stable, secure. Some of you may be getting a second job or focusing on your business with the Eight of Pentacles energy. Executing the plan, the Three of Wands. So not only taking some time to get clear on where you see yourself headed, but taking action on that. Right now, Gemini, I feel like you're distancing yourself from this person all in all. I feel like you are not open to having a new beginning. You are open to having a conversation, but that's about as far as you'll take it. Because I feel like once this person comes in, you're going to feel very quickly that they're in the same energy. Your person wants something new with you. 
But they're also in this anxious type of energy. This codependency is real, guys. And sometimes when we are in that state of mind, that's exactly what we attract. And we, when we come out of that, we see things differently. And this person may even appear differently to us. Trust the process here. Okay, because I feel like there's a distance coming between you and this person for a specific reason. For some of you, maybe this is it. Maybe this is a karmic connection and you're disconnecting from a karmic connection. For a very small few of you, this is going to be like a soulmate in separation because we have the four of wands coming out. But I feel like you're being directed on a new path for the majority of you. This person very well could be just be coming in for closure. So Gemini, your romance angel cards coming out here, healing family issues, new love, getting to know each other. So I do feel like there is something new being put on your path. You might not have met this person. You may already have met this person. Give this new connection a chance before going back. Now, I don't recommend going out and looking for somebody. I feel like you need to kind of heal first before you're going to be prepared. But don't close out anybody new coming into your life. Be open to that experience. Be open to the possibility. So Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. If you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.